Hello everyone, good morning. It's Royal Ask a Day today and I am so excited. I've had this in the calendar since February and it's such a beautiful day. It's my first time at Ascot so I thought I would do a little get ready with me and vlog the day so you guys can come along too. I've had the invitation for a while but I actually only opened it up and had a proper look two days ago and realised that we had Royal Enclosure pins. Um, meaning that that is completely different dress code to just like general admittance. So we had a, such a panic two days ago, JJ had to go and get like a top hat and tail coat because obviously he didn't have it and I had to find myself like a fabulous hat to wear because you're not allowed fascinators in the royal enclosure. So I had to just like rethink my whole outfit and I still don't know exactly what I'm wearing to tell you the truth, but I thought we could decide together. So here is the style guide for this year. I just thought that this picture was so stunning, like this whole outfit the dress the bag and the tights and shoes it's so ott i think um ascot are like encouraging people to go a bit more high fashion this year rather than just like the very traditional like race day outfits look how cute this is so so beautiful oh i love this pull things out of your wardrobe that you may not have been daring enough to wear throughout the year oh my gosh i just feel like i need this dress I wish I was wearing this, to be honest. So there's loads of beautiful imagery in this and it got me really, really inspired. Oh my gosh, if only I had this hat. Look at that. I'm sorry, but this whole look, like with the boots and everything. I mean, it's a bit too bright for me, but it's just amazing. Love this as well, very blur. So my three main dress options that I'm considering are first of all, this absolutely beautiful dress from LK Bennett. This is actually part of their um, Royal Ascot collection and it is just to die for. Every detail, so beautiful. I love the color, the buttons, the sleeves, everything. But I'm feeling like I kind of want to go a bit more OTT. Like this is quite daytime, I would say. And I feel like just based on the style guide, I want to go a bit more over the top and dramatic which brings me to my second option which is this absolutely incredible dress from rotate it's so dramatic and over the top beautiful ivory satin with these exaggerated puff sleeves it's also long as well um but it is backless i had this dress on my wish list for weeks it was sold out in my size and i really didn't think i'd be able to get it but of course karma came to my rescue and helped me secure this amazing dress with their back in stock notifications and it had also gone into a promotional sale so i saved 10 percent on the dress, um, which I wouldn't have known about if it wasn't for Karma. If you guys are not already using Karma, then you really, really should be. It's literally my best friend when it comes to online shopping. I could not live without it. So it's basically a free app and Google Chrome extension, and it has so many cool features for you to get the most out of your online shopping. So for example, it automatically scans the internet for discount codes, coupon codes, and applies them to your bag for you at checkout, saving you so much money that you didn't even know you could save. You can also plan Plan and organize your shopping by saving items from more than 50,000 stores into your wish lists and then you get real-time price drop notifications and back in stock notifications and you can also earn cash back when you shop through karma so there's literally nothing not to love it's free to download and I will leave the link down below for you guys and then my third dress option is this I've had this for a few years and um, I think it's from a brand called keepsake and I feel like it's quite on vibe for the day according to the style guide the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is it is quite short and and um, they have been quite strict about um dress lengths they have to be like just over the knee at the shortest and i can't remember how long this is so i'm going to try it on and see but i do feel really really drawn to this one i just feel like this makes such a statement it's the kind of dress that like the style guide says i probably wouldn't wear that much anywhere else like it is quite over the top um so I feel like this could be this dress's day to shine. But before I can try any dresses on, I need to do my hair and makeup. I'm just gonna do my normal, usual curls um, and just like some light makeup with maybe a little bit of eyeshadow and liner, I'm not sure, um, and a nice like pinky lip. Okay guys, I've curled my hair. I haven't brushed it out yet. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, for a while until I brush it out and I've also done my makeup although I'm not sure if I've gone like too heavy on the eyes it's because I'm normally like not used to wearing eye makeup so I don't know if it's like too much and I'm also worried about my fringe because I don't know how the hat is gonna sit on my head and the fringe like be okay 
but we'll just see um but for now let's try on the dresses okay guys here are my shoe choices for the day i really first and foremost want to make sure that i'm going to be comfortable because these kinds of events like you're on your feet a lot of the day so i don't want to wear heels that are too high um or too uncomfortable because it will just be awful so first option are these lk bennett um heels and i know they're super high but they are platforms so they are quite comfortable and my only thing is with these is i feel like i will tower over jj in these heels um even in the top hat so maybe not those even though they're fabulous the gucci slingbacks which are new i feel like these could be potential i feel like they go with the style guide vibe um they're very fun very high fashion chic so these are quite a good option the only thing is i haven't actually worn these yet and I'm not sure it's a good idea to wear new shoes. My next option is these adorable little pearl sandals. Believe it or not, these were only £17. Um, I'll link them down below for you guys. I feel like colour-wise, these would go beautifully with the ivory dress as well. So these are a good option. Nice low block heel. So they should be comfortable. But again, I haven't worn these like all day. I've only worn them for a shoot. So not 100% sure how comfortable they'll be. And my last choice is a bit of a wild card. But I thought maybe my Zara lace-up boots, I just felt like it might look really cool to wear like a super elegant, over-the-top, feminine, dressy dress and pair it with boots, especially as they are lace-up. They have a little bit of an equestrian vibe to go with the ascot theme. You guys know I always like to go a little bit on theme. Wherever I go, I like to have a nod um, to the occasion. And I actually think that these could be really cool. They're also comfortable. I know I can wear them all day and be fine. Um, the only thing is they're a little bit worn looking. So I need to see if I can quickly clean up these scuffs. But yeah, I feel like it's going to be between maybe one of these pairs of heels and the boots. So I'll try them on and see. So the first dress option is the LK Bennett. And this is so beautiful. This is a really strong contender. I would love to wear this today. Um, I've put it with LK Bennett shoes as well. Um, yeah, it's really gorgeous. The only thing is I don't really want to wear the belt that it came with because it's like bejeweled and I kind of want to go for more pearls today. But then I'm not sure if it looks weird um, with the empty belt holes or will anyone really notice? So option two is the other pink dress. And oh my gosh, I would have loved to have worn this. I really would. I feel like... I may have ended up going for this, especially with the Gucci shoes, like the horse bit buckle. I feel like it goes so well. But sadly, I think that this may be a little bit short for the royal enclosure, and I really don't want to risk um, getting turned away. So even though I feel like this would have been amazing, um, I'm not going to wear this. Which leaves dum, da, da, dum, 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 the rotate dress and... I really feel like this is the one for today. I just feel like the LK Bennett dress, I could wear to loads of other places. I could wear it to afternoon tea. You could wear it to a wedding. Whereas this is the kind of dress that is kind of limited on the occasions that you can wear it to. And I just love it. I really love the back as well. I'm gonna try and make sure I'm still in focus. Um, but you can see it's all like backless as well. It's super flattering. It's really statement. And I feel like it really fits the dress code for this year. And then for shoes, as you can see, I've popped on my boots and also the pearl sandals. And guys, I'm really thinking boots. I just think it adds like another layer to the outfit. It looks really statement and high fashion and chic. Whereas the pearls and also like the Gucci slingbacks kind of look a bit like old lady-ish with this long dress and I feel like I need the boots to kind of make it look a bit more cool um we've got the equestrian vibes there and I feel like this is a really cool look I think I knew all along deep down that I wanted to wear this one today I just think it's amazing it's so OTT and when I got the dress I was like when am I gonna wear this I don't know I don't care it's fabulous I'm gonna keep it um, so I'm so glad it gets to have its day in the sun today. Speaking of sun though, I feel like I am going to sweat to death in this dress, but I feel like everyone's in the same boat, especially all the men. Um, so I'm going to make sure I take my hand fan in my bag. The trusty handbag fan, of course. So as I told you guys, I was really, really stressed earlier on this week because I had to find a fabulous hat to wear and I didn't have one. Um, and I found this absolutely fabulous brand on Instagram, which is called 
Miss B's millinery and they actually followed me and I just messaged them saying, is there any chance you have a hat I could borrow for Thursday? And she has sent me this really fabulous hat, which I feel like will go really, really well with the ivory dress. Here's her little card. So if you guys want to give her a follow, I'm sure that would be really, really appreciated. She had so many fabulous designs. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I hope the color is good in real life. Oh my gosh, look at the flowers. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Look at the flowers. I love how they're like ivory and blush. I feel like that will go so perfectly with my dress. There's even feathers in there, a little bit of netting. Okay, so I also feel like I want to go a bit statement with earrings because I don't feel like I have a good necklace for this dress, honestly. Like, I'm a bit disappointed. I just feel like I need something pearl. But all of my pearl jewelry is very, like, boho beachy. And I don't really have anything demure. So I think I'm just going to skip necklace today and go for some decent um, statement earrings. So I can either go with my little Jennifer Burr um like pearl drop earrings and they have a little pinky pinky bit like that they're super pretty or my favorite lara heems earrings which are the little um it won't focus unless i get close but they're little um roses with a pearl drop and i just feel like i'm gonna be drawn to these yeah i think it's the lara heems for me yeah i feel like those earrings are literally perfect oh Okay, now for my hat. Oh my gosh, it's so, so beautiful. And I just feel like this pink is perfect with this dress. Um, I may need like a pinky bag to complete the look, but we will sort that out at the end. Um, so I know this goes on the right side of the head like this. I've never worn anything like this before, but it's so me. I'm so excited. Um, and there's an elastic. I'm actually not really sure how it goes. It doesn't go under the chin, no. Um, behind? Maybe it goes behind. Oh, okay, maybe I could just tuck that behind my fringe. I think I need to do this in the mirror. I feel like this would be so much easier without a fringe. Um, I feel like that's throwing me a little bit, but it's so beautiful. And it works with the dress so well. Oh my god, I feel like a princess. I'm going to be in the royal enclosure. If I saw the queen, I know she's not going to be there, so I don't want to get my hopes up. But if the queen was there, I think I might die like literally die or faint at the very least. Um, I hope I would impress her if I did see her. So all I need to do is pick out a bag, um, maybe some bracelets. I feel like I do need bracelets. I can just stick on some of my pearl bracelets or maybe even some like silver, silver diamante jewelry. Um, I feel like I need to avoid gold. Gold is not gonna go with this vibe. Maybe some silver jewelry, some silver bracelets. Um, but I think I've decided not to go with a necklace. The only necklace I have is my Audrey Hepburn breakfast at Tiffany's necklace and I just feel like it's too much. Should we just have a look? <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I do actually kind of like the necklace. Um, if I wasn't wearing the hat then I might wear it but I just think altogether it's it's a lot. Mm. Yeah, what was it that Coco Chanel says? Like once you're done with your outfit take one accessory off. That's this necklace. <laughs> Okay, so bag-wise, I feel like I have two options, either my little pearl um, tote bag or my Chanel. Um, so let's see which we prefer. Okay, first up, the pearl bag, which I feel looks really cool. It looks kind of like high fashion. Does it disappear slightly with the dress? Um, maybe, but I do like the style of the bag. But I feel like maybe it looks a little bit insipid next to the dress. The perfect bag would be a little like pinky pearl bag, but alas, I did not think ahead to get something. Um, it does look nice, I might take it. And then my second option would be my Chanel bag, which I'm not like thrilled about taking this because I feel like I'd rather take something a bit more fun. This is very like proper ladies handbag. Um, but I do think the color goes better. It just like brings the whole look together. It ties in with the hat um, and it just provides a little bit of like color blocking. So I'm not just like all white. Oh, so guys, this is my final outfit. I've got the boots on and I'm just very, very happy with this look. I feel like it's perfect. 
So JJ will be picking me up in 15 minutes. I've got the invitations. Just need to do some last minute makeup touch-ups. I did take off my eye makeup because I just feel more comfortable without it. Um, I am also gonna take my portable GHDs for the car just because I feel like by the time we get there, um, I may need to redo some curls in my hair. But on the whole, I'm ready and I just can't wait to get there. We are almost there. I'm in my hat. JJ, say hello. Hello. <laughs> JJ's sat bolt upright the whole journey so he doesn't crease his so, morning suit. I'm so uncomfortable. You look so handsome and you've got pink tie yeah, well. to match me. Yes. <laughs> Thrilled about it, really. No, I don't mind the tie colour. It's <laughs> fine. Step through the portal. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. JJ, will you show us your outfit? <laughs> oh, you look so good. 12. <laughs> I love it. Good. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm so hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sweating. Same. our private box we have lunch being served in about 10 minutes and then later on we have an afternoon tea as well Wednesday. cheers jj yes cheers cheers <laughs> so here is the tipster board and reach for the moon is the queen's horse so we're definitely going to be betting on reach for the moon but other than that, I just bet for fun and I choose names that I like, so I'll probably just be ignoring the tips to board. My grandpa gives really good tips. He actually gave us our winning tip at Cheltenham, but we didn't put very much money on, so we didn't win very much. Wandering around, all looking absolutely splendid, I must say. Fantastic, lovely to see you all. <laughs> so Colin Brown, my name is our next jockey. I used to ride over the jumps, not the flat, but I wish I was light enough for the flat, but <laughs> I used to ride over Desert Orchid, if I remember him many years ago, I'm sure none of you do, because you're too young, but uh, do a little wiki, you'll find the news brilliant, love to ask him. Um, are you all okay with your betting? Do you all understand the various bets to do? No. No. No, okay. And there's a fantastic bet, which, if anybody won it, would have paid 53 if you've got your race cards, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first race I think in number seven, the Antarctic can win the top races in the uh, in the calendar, and that's number three, Isra. Number three mm. is my selection. I like in our second race. Three and five. Three and five. What I thought. What about eight? it's really filled out. Such a lovely atmosphere. And the royal procession is about to start and I've just heard that Princess Anne, who is probably my second favourite royal, of the Queen obviously, um, is down there in the carriage. Oh my gosh. That's her. Oh I love her.
Oh, really? Oh, well, imagine us. We normally just bet for fun, don't we, on like the names that we like. Mm -hmm. um, but we did have the tips to come in, so we feel like we might stand a good chance. We're taking it a bit more seriously today. Although, I did do a small bet on Pillow Talk, of course. Come back in five minutes in honor see us just miserable. Yeah, Here's my pillow talk bet, just a small bet because um, it's not a favourite, but it might just be a lucky winner. JJ, pillow talk is the only filly in the field. Fun filly. <laughs> Don't spend it all at once. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Result. <laughs> Guys, I did Earl of the Cotswolds for Josie. It was a total outsider. But they're actually in the lead. Oh my god, can you imagine? Woo! Earl of the Cotswolds! Princess Zoe. Perfection. So guys, the day is going well. Um, I haven't exactly won big and I think altogether I am down. I just can't help myself but place silly bets. Um, but luckily not with silly money, so I'm not down too far. We also have the Queen's Horse um, racing in the race after this one. So I'll definitely be betting on her horse, of course. She's not here today, which is really, really sad. But Princess Anne was here, and that was probably the next best thing. I think she's my second favorite royal. Um, so that was really nice. But it's been such an amazing day. Everyone's fainting, everyone's sweating. It's like 30 degrees, um, but it's been just spectacular. Come on. We are absolutely shattered. We have drunk and eaten and danced and sung and screamed and lost all our money. <laughs> but we've I had Yeah, you actually did. No, he did pretty well. So um the drinks are on JJ. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you all next time. Bye!